everybody. It's Leslie from Scrapping Life Away. How are you? I hope you all had a very nice Christmas. Um, we did here. It was a little quieter than usual, but that's okay. I like quiet once in a while. But anyway, um, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be making a DIY pleated envelope. And I'll show you what I mean. This is a Dilutions journal. If you notice in the front of the journal, it has this pleated envelope, kind of like this, um, that you can use to store whatever it is your little heart desires um, in there. And I've been working on creating some journals for 2018. And I thought, you know, I really like that idea. Um, not so sure I like it in the idea in the front of the journal. So I was working on my journal for my own, um, scribblings and scratchings and whatnot and, um, getting my journals ready for all my design team, um, projects. Um, so I've been working on that. And so I made one for here. I'm going to glue that down. Um, so I thought what I would do since I need to make one for this journal, I figured I'd take you along on the process so you could see it. And, um, if you would like to make one of your own, then you'll have everything you need. I'm going to try and do this in one take. I'll try and be as fast as I can, which is, you know, sometimes not always the best thing, but that's okay. We'll get through as I'm dropping stuff everywhere. And what I do have right here are my cheat sheets because yes, I did um, have to kind of make a template in order to know what I was doing. So, okay. So to start off, I have two pieces of paper, the same color. Um, you don't have to use the same color. It's totally up to you. But the first sheet is going, I'm going to cut is going to be the back sheet. And that measures um, five and a half by 10. So I'm going to cut my 10. And then I'm going to make that five and a half. Five and a half. And one of these, I can't remember whether it was the back or the front. We're going to have to do a little adjusting on. All right, so 10 by five and a half, and then this one is going to be 10 and a half by eight and a half. And make sure to set your scraps aside because they are rather large and you can get them mixed up. All right, so here we are. This is going to be um, my uh, my back. This is going to be my front. Well, eventually, you'll see. So we're done with our cutter. Now what we're gonna need is our scoreboard. You're also gonna need um, small pair of scissors and a bone folder. Okay, now the 10 and a half by eight and a half, which is going to be your back. So that would be this one. Yes. And I want to do it this way. Correct. Yes, I do. First thing I want to do though, and you'll see the reason why I'm doing this in a minute. This is eight and a half across here. You're going to want to put a score at eight all the way down because that's going to be our bottom. Okay. So now I'm going to put this in at my scoreboard and I'm going to score this at two and a half. One and a half, two 
and then at the one and then at the half inch mark. And then I'm just going to flip this over and do the exact same thing. So two and a half, one and a half, and then a half inch. Okay. I'm not quite done with my scoreboard, but I'm going to just set it off to the side. I'm going to put this up here. Now, what I'm going to do the score mark that's um, closest to me, I'm going to fold in. And then the next score, I'm going to fold out. And this little half inch one, I'm going to score, I'm going to bend towards me. And then I'm going to take my bone folder and give that a good crease. Same thing, I'm going to flip it around to the other side. The score mark that is closest to me. I'm going to fold it in towards me. Next score mark out and the half inch one towards me. Kind of accordion style. I'm going to go ahead and pull that back out. Those score mark that was at the bottom, go ahead and fold it in towards you. Take your bone folder, score that up. We are going to be doing some, we are going to be doing some cutting on that, but I wouldn't worry about that right at this moment. Now, let me see if I remember correctly. I am going to at this score mark right here, I'm going to cut I'm going to open this up here and then I'm going to cut along this line, along this score mark here. The reason I'm doing this is just to cut down on the bulk. And I'm going to do the same thing here on this side. I'm going to cut and flip it over because I can see the score mark better. Okay, and I'm going to cut. So now. This is what I have here. Now this is my um, my back. And actually, I'm going to pull the I'm going to pull this bottom part down. Am I in frame? I hope so. I'm going to pull these in here like this. I'll put this in here like this. And yes, this is just a tad. Is it a little tad tight? It's a little bit tight. I'm going to take just a smidge off this part here. Just a, just a smidge because it's just a smidge tight in there. So I'm just going to line that up. And that's probably like, I don't know, a sixteenth of an inch and eight, you know, it's just itty bitty. Just take a smidge off. All right, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna fold these in the two little half inch the the last scores that we made on there. I'm gonna lay them out. I'm gonna put this down like this. This make sure that it all fits nicely. This bottom part is actually gonna go last. Yeah. I'm liking how that looks. Flip it over. Yep, I like how that looks. All right. I'm going to use liquid glue. And here's the reason why I'm going to use liquid glue. If you use a tape runner, you can be my guest. Um, it's totally up to you. But a tape runner is always going to stay tacky. All right. A wet glue will eventually dry. And will no longer remain tacky, but it'll keep all of your stuff um, glued together. So I'm just going to run some glue along the side here. And I'm going to glue it right on over. I'm going to even take my phone folder. And 
and I'm just going to give that a real good press. So I want that to seal real good. And what I may do, grab a wet wipe because you can't craft without a wet wipe. Wet wipe. That's like a crafting must have. And that's okay that it shows it's a little wet. It will dry. And now I'm going to take the other side. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put a bead glue. I'm sure that this process has been done before. But um, to be honest with you, I didn't research to look to see. I just took a look at the envelope that's in the um, in the dilutions journal and decided to use the same thing. Now I'm just going to do my bottom. And I'm going to glue that up as well. Give that a good press. Perfect. Now, what I'm going to do, oops, I don't want that. I want my scoreboard. I want my lid back on my glue. I'm going to look at this. I'm going to say, okay, this here should be at the end of your envelope should be at eight inches. I don't want to, I don't want to fold this directly at eight inches because it's a pleated, a pleated um, envelope folder thing. I want it to be, I want to give it a little bit of room. So I'm going to score this at one line past that eight inch. Okay, so make sure you're up in there good and tight and just give it a score. So now you've got your envelope, it's your pleated envelope here, all ready to go to be put into your journal. Now a couple of things that you can do. I have a corner rounder here. And um, this is by, I don't know who, can't tell, probably Fiskers or something, I don't know, I don't know who it's by. I've got so many different punches and whatnot. So I'm going to get that corner in there and just punch it off so my corner is nice and rounded. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Maybe if I open it up, it would be a little bit easier. Okay, there we go. So that's done. The next thing I want to do is I want a closure. Get rid of my scraps here. And for that, I'm going to use two brads and they're kind of brassy looking. Oops. There, like that. And so I've got that, and I've got this string. Um, it's just twine, but I want it kind of waxy. I want it to, to uh, I want it waxy. So anyway, I'm going to cut off probably too much, but that's all right. I don't care. This stuff is cheap. You can get it anywhere. Get up and move it. So I'm just going to take it. I'm going to put it through my little wax. Thing. This holds beeswax and it coats your thread or twine or whatever you're using with beeswax. So it makes it a little bit, it won't knot as easily and it just gives it that feel. Um, I like to do this if I don't have any wax linen when I'm making um, when I'm making journals. I usually like to use wax linen thread, but if I don't have that, I can take my twine or whatever and run it through this. Um, you can pick this up in uh, any Joanne's store. We'll have this over in the quilting area. Okay, so I've got that done. I want to see about where do I want 
this to start. I'm kind of looking for the middle. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And I'm going to say I want that right about there. So I'm going to lift it up so I don't put a hole all the way through. And then I'm going to make a little knot. Or at least the start of one. And I'm going to put my brad in here. Just kind of push it up and give it a real good tug. And I'm going to do that one more time. And I'm actually going to kind of turn it sideways, I think, so that I can tuck whatever I need to. And another just a, a good pull on that. Right, that's not really going to for too much of anywhere. I know what I'm looking for. Oh, there it is. I'm also looking for my packing tape, and I'll show you why. Anyway, and I'm going to cut this off right there at the edge. And I want my packing tape, and let me show you why, if I can find the end of it. So I've got that. I cut it off about an inch and a half ish. I'm going to cut that in half. Put one over here to the side. All right. That will come in handy in just a moment. Now I'm going to put my bread through and make sure that my string is straight down. wasn't so let's try this again put our brad in and make sure that your string is hanging straight down and then open up the bottom of your brad take one of the pieces of tape and put it over that brad so that it doesn't catch on anything and it just kind of secures that all right so now we've got that there and I think I want that to come down to right about there. So I'm just going to make a little mark. I'm going to bring you in just a little bit. Sorry. This is a new camera for me. I'm just trying to get the hang of using it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to make a little mark. I'm not going to go through. I just want to mark. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. And put it through so that it only goes through one part of it, not all of it. And then I'm going to stick my brad in. But I don't want to push my brad all the way through. I want to give it just a tad of room there. Can you see that? I'm not pushing it all the way through. And then carefully, I'm going to open up the inside of my brad, maybe, okay, I make the prongs go the same direction as the top, just because I'm OCD that way. There we go, and I've left plenty of room so I can wrap my string around it. Now I'm going to take this other piece of tape. Where am I? Well, oh, here I am. And on the inside, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cover those prongs with that packing tape so that it does not poke anything. So now I can close this up. And I'm going to 
gonna bring this around and wrap it. Well, let's bring it around a couple more times. Down like that, and then I'm going to cut this off. And now I have, I can take you back out. Sorry, there we go. So now I have my envelope, heated envelope with a closure. And it's all ready to go into my journal. Now, what I'm going to do with my journal. So I'm going to glue this in here. I'm trying to think, do I want to use my matte medium? Yeah, I do. All right, so I'm going to bring the back of my book over. And then I'm going to lay this down right about there. Get my wipe. Actually, what I'm going to do just to make sure that my ends are covered. I'm going to take, this is just a cut it. Actually, this is a room key card. I was going to kind of pull that down, kind of level out any of the glue on the bottom there and make sure it's coming to my ends. And whatever comes out along my ends, I can just wipe off. Making sure though that my I'm not sealing my pleats shut. And my top. Now what I will do is I am going to take a piece of deli paper and I'm going to put it between right here and then my back page. And I'm going to shut that and then I'm going to go put this above me um, and I'm going to put some weight on top of it and let it dry overnight. And then tomorrow we will have a nice dry envelope, heated envelope on the back of our journal, all ready to go. So Next time you see me, it'll be morning. Hello there. I am back and my envelope has dried. Please excuse this part. Um, I, when I glued it, I did not let it dry. So it's peeling away and I was going to fix it. Let me try to bring you in because it looks like you're a little blurry. Let's see if bringing you in helps a little bit. <clears throat> you have to excuse my voice. <clears throat> I have been, it's been a couple of days since I did this and I have been really sick and now it's affecting <clears throat> my voice a little bit. But anyway, it is all done and dried. So as you can see, here we are. It's all set. It's in there nice and tight. And this is just perfect. I mean, if you're working on something um, and you need to stop and you can stick it in here, or um, if you just want to stick some, you know, some notes in here um, afterwards, you know, just to stick, you know, little, just little notes to yourself or whatever, but it is all done and ready for me to play in. I have other journals um, that I am working in that I have done the same thing to. This is my journal for uh, my explorations of me um, with Cindy Utter. And I've done the same thing. So this one's all ready to go. 
Um, the only difference between this journal and this journal is that I have not, um, I have not just said the pages because I'm just not sure where I want to go with this. Um, and the other journal I'm going to show you, I'm not going to show you yet because it's a surprise. So anyway, um, thanks for stopping in. I hope that this, um, this envelope, this DIY envelope, um, helps you. I hope that you, um, I hope that it, you, you make one and I hope that you can use it, um, not just in a journal, but anywhere else. And, um, you know what? Go out and have a great day and please be nice to people. It's really not that hard. Bye.